two of the biggest fantasy franchises that are still immensely popular to this day are fated to battle each other. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which franchise moves forward in our competition. It's The Legend of Zelda versus Final Fantasy on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. So this next one, I have to step away. I gotta step away and let you two duke it out. If y'all are gonna duke it out, y'all might hold hands, I don't know. But Final Fantasy versus The Legend of Zelda. If you wanna hold hands, you can. I think, I think, uh, wait, wait. I think, oh, it's lock, you gotta lock the lock fingers. The fingers. You gotta lock them. You gotta lock them. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, this, I think this is the hardest one on the list. Probably. For you? Probably. What? What? I think so. I think it's, <laughs> it's pretty difficult. Yeah. Did think... y'all ever play Final Fantasy on the NES? Yes, yeah. I did. Alright. Yeah, enough. so, the reason we put these two games together um, as uh, the best of the, the genre, I guess, is because these, these are the only ones on the list that are, like, role-playing. Well, there's not very many RPGs on the NES. Uh, yeah, I mean, you... There are, but not. I chose I chose Final Fantasy over Dragon Quest because I just know it better. Yeah. Now, Final Fantasy came out after Dragon Quest, so it fixes a lot of the problems. One of the big things about Final Fantasy One versus Dragon Quest was that Dragon Quest was like a first person perspective, kind of like Earthbound, something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was the first kind of RPG game, uh, turn based RPG, where you had your characters on screen, they're moving and doing actions, they're casting spells, they're setting mm-hmm. things on fire, um, and you get you get more of a visual than you would like Dragon Quest. Right. And Zelda is is not a turn-based RPG, but it is kind of like a top-down adventure. I, I won't even say RPG, but it's just a more fantastical yeah. world. Zelda's um, always seemed like it was always more of a uh, action adventure as opposed to an RPG. And it was really interesting is that yeah. both, both yeah, these, yeah. Both these franchises, stats. they they they're both still around to this day. It's it's still in, putting out some pretty good And still the too. best, yeah, the best of the best as far as the franchises are exactly. concerned. Exactly. When but Breath of the Wild was one of the best games of all time. Yes. And then Final Fantasy XIV is one of the best MMOs of all time. You know? I mean, they're, 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 they're putting out some heavy hitters. I'd say, um, for the sake of this conversation, though, we have to compare just these two games. Yeah. And they play a little... The, the hardest thing to compare is the gameplay. Yeah. Because, yeah. because you got a turn-based... Uh, RPG with random encounters and item management and leveling up and grinding and a more a, a, an in-depth story with text that you read that tells you information instead of having to look at an instruction manual and really kind of guess where you need to go because let's be honest Zelda without a guide the original Zelda without a guide oh, yeah, yeah. it's very hard it's Oof. a, it's a, it's a, it's I mean, a you hard you don't game. know where you're going yeah. you have yeah, no it, idea what's going on it's hard um I mean, and it was basically, uh, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And then they, you would be, like, running. And that, some people might argue that's the beauty of the game, is running around just bombing random bushes, hoping that a secret cave pops up, yeah. so you find an item. <laughs> but let's be honest, that's kind of why they wanted to sell you a Nintendo Power. Yeah. Exactly. And oh, yeah. with Final Fantasy, I'd be willing to argue that it has issues as far as from a technical standpoint, it, it has some issues, like some of the gameplay mechanics are just straight up broken. Oh, yeah. Um, and also it has really bad difficulty spikes where you have to grind a lot. And you, there, there's like a certain spot in the game you can go to and just once you get there and you grind, you can just level up to like basically level 99 and then the rest of the game is kind of a breeze. Yeah. Um, what, 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 are you, what are you considering broke? Like, the mechanics? Is it like RNG or is it... Um... You no, know, just like some of the stats just don't work. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, some stuff like like it actually has actual broken mechanics. Gotcha. But you have to give them credit because it was very early on in the genre, in the genre's development. I mean, RPGs, like we, like we just got done saying. Yeah. Know? This is a brand new endeavor, you know? I mean, most games had somewhat of a story but a lot of it was told in the background and the actual game itself was just designed for you to go in and enjoy it so you know there's gonna be a couple things that are broken with it there's gonna be a couple things where you know you're going into it you're going into a genre for the first time and it's just like how do we set the stage when there's no example to follow so you have to basically come up come up with that example from scratch and while you know Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy had some flaws, I think it really executed pretty well as far as like storytelling. Yeah, and, and both these games had battery packs; you could save your progress. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I'd be willing to wager. Well, the first ones, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. Um, this came out like a year or two, two years, I think, after Zelda. I can't remember. So Zelda has the disadvantage of being an older game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But which one? 
has the better gameplay, I think that's really up to just preference. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's going to be hard to judge them on I'd, that. I'd be willing to say that if I had to pick in between both of those as far as gameplay is concerned, I mean, dude... Zelda 1's pretty primitive, man. Yeah, but yeah. so is Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's but, the only one I've played. I've never played Final but, Fantasy. But, man, I, I think I'd be willing to say that... Let me ask you this, okay? They both have a really good sense of progression. Right. What right? kind of perspective do you want to take this from? Do you want to take this from, like, a ease of access point of view, or do you want to take it from an actual fulfilling gameplay point of view? Uh, that's going to be that's going to be really... I we got to measure all of it, honestly. I, I think I think a lot of people... Especially if we're talking about back then, did not understand Final Fantasy. Not like they didn't, they didn't understand RPGs, right? It, it went until Final Fantasy VII came stateside that a lot of people actually started to give turn-based RPGs a real fair shake. At least the the general demographic, right? Right. Uh, us RPG nerds were always kind of playing those kinds of games. Now, I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I played Final Fantasy One when it first came out. I wasn't even born. Yeah. Uh, but I played a lot of Final Fantasy games on Super Nintendo and like Super Mario RPG and Chrono Trigger and Earthbound. And those like were that. right up your alley. Uh huh. So here's a tough one. How about this? I know we're getting kind of hung up on the gameplay, yeah, no. but uh, let's let's return to that. What do you think about the music? Final Fantasy's got the better music, hands down. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, all I know is it's primitive. Know. It's primitive, you know. Dude, the thing about the Zelda's, prelude, the yeah. prelude, the main theme, like whenever you you da, da, the title da, da, card doesn't really, da, da, yeah, that doesn't play until like after you beat like the first boss, and then then you actually get the title card. It has a better sense of presentation than Zelda yeah. does, in my my personal opinion as well. Uh, but the, I think you're right. The music, Matoya's Cave, the battle music, the boss battle music, so the good. towns. All of it. I mean, they put out bangers on the uh, on the NES. I mean, nothing against Zelda's music. Dude, Zelda's music look, was that good overworld. For... That overworld is is fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it is amazing. Oh, yeah. Without that. But I, I I think I talked about it on a previous episode. Uh, you go into the dungeon. It's that go, loop. Go, the dungeon. It's a the, short, loop. short loop. It's not the best dungeon music. And yeah. It's, it, and honestly, honestly, the only thing that sticks out is the overall. It gets music. a little aggravating. Yeah, I mean, the dungeon music is just repetitive. I think I think Steve's right. Final Fantasy's got the better music it's, it's As, I, for between these two games. Mm-hmm. So Final, Final Fantasy gets it. Okay. What about visuals? What do you think looks better visually? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with Final Fantasy again because I think Final Fantasy really did a decent job as far as some of the visuals in the game. I think I'd be I think I'd be willing to say you're right as well because not only visually like what do things look like the, like in the design and like right. the actual pixel art but also the presentation of like you get to a certain point in Final Fantasy and then like your character the character sprites kind of grow up and they turn to like adult versions of those cute sprites really that you cool. know and so it kind of gives you a sense of progression that way because like you get to see it visually happen so when your characters on the screen doing their little moves they they look different and they they feel more mature right yeah. um uh, yeah i think the oh, monster yeah. the monster design like see how those look a little chibi but like when they there comes a, a point in the story they kind of all kind of grow up and become this more mature and the sprites reflect that yeah um, and and you know in all honesty the i'm looking at the design for the enemies yeah, yeah, they had a little more uh flexibility as far as how detailed they want their enemies well, to be systema- to yeah, systematically how the game works it exactly. goes to a different screen for the exactly. battles and they're able to load in the different sprites but like i mean it's, it was uh, for all I mean, purposes really basically just yeah. clip, that's clip a pretty art. dope sprite for, yeah uh, the, yeah, I think, yeah yeah i mean it's, for all intents and purposes it's basically just clip art but still though as mm-hmm. far as Presentation well, also, your, your little characters being able to like do the magic spells and stuff, and you see the, the magic spell, yeah. actually, like your little character does the little moves, yeah, like the animations, and or even just doing the little sword. You right, get the right. I mean, it. it's 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 all it's all it all feels so immersive. I guess is the word I'm trying to think yeah. of. Because yeah. think think like look at the combat of Zelda. The combat of Zelda basically the sword just kind of comes out. Yeah. Psst. And that's him swing, it's supposed to be him swinging a sword. Now, granted, I don't want to hold that against Nintendo too badly. I think, I, I think Zelda has hardware ha- limitation. Yeah, I think Zelda has as far as because whenever you're doing the noise, I'm thinking of the the beam, the sword beam. Yeah. The <laughs> I think that Zelda has better sound effects. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that for sure. Um, better sound effects. Story. Mm. You know, I gotta. Final Fantasy 1 was one of the more forgettable sort of stories in the series, in my opinion. It's not bad. It's, it's not it's terrible. Bas- well, basically you have... I just don't remember it. I don't remember it. Well, and I played it. Well, it's the it's the, the, the four heroes of light will emerge. You get to pick your characters. And then they have to go fight Garland. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know, I know Garland's the bad guy. Yeah. They, you gotta go fight Garland. And then they basically... Events transpire. And then you go back in time. And you end up finding out that you're the, the four heroes of light that 
that banished him all those years ago. But there's like time oh, travel. Jack. Call- yeah, yeah. I'm here for one thing and one I, thing I, only. I agree down. Sorry. Yeah. We're, not, we're, not, we're, we're not here to talk about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we can't talk about that one. I'm don't sorry. let it. Don't sorry. Let, don't I, let that I, one detract from the original. I bomb in there. We're not talking about that game. Okay, okay. Chaos. Um, I, But so like Zelda's is like, hey, it, it's more than just go save the princess. It's like a, um, I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. No, I understand. Um, it's more like a, you know, they have, you gotta go find the Triforce pieces. Right. And yeah, there's Zelda, but you really don't, see Zelda and I don't know I think for a game that's named after her she's only in there I, I think for... I think I gotta give it to Final Fantasy not because not only does, is the story a little bit more involved yeah. and a little bit more thought out but also it's just the way that it is presented to you I think you know you're you're running around towns you're talking to people you get to like interact with stuff whereas with Zelda it just kind of starts and if you didn't read the instruction manual and you didn't even like it doesn't even tell you to go in the cave right exactly. there's not you really miss that first sword yeah you could theoretically most people didn't but you could you're absolutely exactly. right but like the game has no like direct storytelling to the player which once again it's an older game and it does it does have an instruction manual and you were encouraged to read that instruction manual um which is fair you know i don't want to knock points for them right for that because that's that's a that's a limitation of the time period, you know. You can't really, you can't really fault them for that a whole, whole lot. But I mean, at the end of the day, Final Fantasy storytelling is legendary. I mean, just in general, it is. Even with number one, I mean, uh, yes. I mean, even one, compared to the storytelling, in number Legend one, of Zelda, it's exactly. the same plot, pretty much, almost every time. Uh, they switch it up a little bit, a little every bit. Now but at the end of the day, Zelda, but at the end of the day, there's a Ganon, there's a Zelda, there's a Link. There's a Ganon, exactly. Ganon, Zelda, Link, power. Wisdom yeah, Bridge. yeah. Um, I think mechanically, that's not what, always. A, I think these, I think these games are tied mechanically yeah. because I think it really depends on your preference. Yeah. And I think if you like more of an instant action, you're in control the whole time. As far as like, you push a button, the character moves. I think Zelda is more of a game for you. Right. But if you, if you like strategy and turn based gameplay, with stuff. Yeah, yeah, and like, in, in the first Final Fantasy game, your spells had like stock, yeah, right? And you exactly. had to like, you had to really decide what. what when you want to do it, and then also, I mentioned earlier, you get you get to pick the four different characters you play as, yeah. And then it adds another a layer of replayability that I feel like Zelda doesn't have. Whereas, exactly. like, I want to do all fighters. That's a terrible idea, but you can do that. You can do it. The game doesn't like prevent you from doing any of those dumb decisions. Yeah. It, it, it allows you to experiment with the the mechanics <laughs> a bit more. It's like I want I want a white mage, I want a thief, I want a red mage, I want a fighter, or you want all black mages, or exactly. you want two fighters and two white mages. I don't know. The game doesn't. It, it, as long as you can do it, you can do it. Exactly. Final Fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons really kind of set the stage for the future of like multiplayer gaming because it really set the, that stage for like you want uh, a damage dealer, damage taker, a healer, and or how, however big your party is, you know, you set it up according to that. You find out who deals the most damage during certain circumstances. There's some benefits where you want a melee fighter. There's some benefits where you want a ranged fighter. Mm-hmm. There's some benefits where you want... Now, at, in Final Fantasy, they only had heal, They only had, like, white mage and, and, and... Well, they had white mage, black mage, and red mage. Yeah. White and, mage, black uh, mage, I was right. Mage. Yeah. It it was, I, said, I said, is that a red mage? I was looking oh, at I'm sorry. I was yeah. Like, yeah, there yeah, there's definitely... I always yeah. picked at least one red mage because they had... A, uh, yeah, Jack of all trades, mm-hmm. master of none. Right. Um, which game do you think is more revolutionary? Ooh. I'm gonna say Zelda. I'm gonna Can say I? Zelda too. Zelda had a very now Final Fantasy did have very had a whole lot of depth, but for me with Zelda, I just feel like you know once you got the hang of everything and you knew exactly how to do it, it was very fulfilling because you were going through and you were you were progressing to a similar circumstance as far as Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy may have done the progression part a little better but I but ultimately I just feel like that that it just feels so massive like I love how it inspired Breath of the Wild well also yeah that same thing. also the original Zelda is the first NES game I believe to have a battery pack yeah that's a revolutionary right there yeah I think that's and, and Final Fantasy has a battery pack yep so like if it wasn't for Zelda then Final Fantasy wouldn't really Exactly. Had the chance, right? Unless you play through that game all the way through, and that's just not going to happen. Exactly. At least not, not if you're a, a kid who doesn't understand how it works. Uh, and it's a difficult they game. Those, they use those battery packs in games for a long time. I mean, game Boy's got them. Super Nintendo. Mm, Nintendo 64, maybe. Nintendo 64. 
I mean, eventually. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they all have built-in batteries. Eventually, yeah. these cartridges right here, you're gonna have to. If you want to save your games again, yeah. you're gonna have to go yeah, replace them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm replace scared. Them. I'm scared of that. I know. But 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 I don't mean that as a way to detract it. I just mean that as a way to show exactly how revolutionary it was because Zelda kind of kicked that off. Now maybe they weren't the first to do it. I think they were. What do you think? What do you think stands the test of time better, Zelda or Final Fantasy? If I'm going to go, I wanted to say this earlier when we were talking about visual, and I had to refresh my memory because I, again, I have I have played Legend of Zelda. Yeah, and it is the older one of the gaming. I, mean, um, I was looking yeah. at the dates on here. Uh, Legend of Zelda came out in '86. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy came out in '87 in Japan, and finally in '90. But it's still essentially the same game. Um, man, it's Zelda tough. looks really a, Zelda looks a little crude compared to some yeah. other platform top down platformers yeah. of its time. Exactly. Like that I, was dragon, looking, that I was looking at Dragon boss. Quest. I was looking at Star Tropics and those games, which we don't really think about. They kind of look a little better than Zelda. Yeah, and we're talking about Legend. visuals. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a specifically this way. As far as standing the test of time, their success, both games' success, is detrimentally affected the originals. Because they play so differently, even the top-down Zeldas in the future, like like Link to the Past, the Game Boy Zeldas, mm-hmm. all all play so much better, so much smoother than the original Legend of Zelda. And same thing with the Final Fantasy. I think I think Legend of Zelda one is super revolutionary, but I, me personally, I I think um, I think Link to the Past is like the the most revolutionary Zelda game. I think for me personally. Yeah, no, I think that's where it keeps. Uh, and then lastly. What do you think represents the console better? I think Ooh, Zelda. 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 That's, that's easy. That's kind of an easy one. Um, okay. Because in all honesty, when you think of the NES, the first few games that come up every time, Mario, Zelda, mm-hmm. Metroid. Yeah. It's time to yeah. vote. It's time to vote. No matter... <laughs> I hope, hopefully they got everything we need to say out. I, I think know, right? I could talk about these games for like an hour straight. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, Jacob, would you like to vote first? Yeah. Just that, I don't, or do you want to be the tiebreaker? Since you're... You no. don't have as much. Uh, no. Steve, Steve, you go first. Yeah. I'll go first. You... Uh, so here's here's my take on it, man. I um, spent a lot of time thinking about this. Like once we first, <laughs> I know we too. first picked this bracket, I spent a lot of time thinking about it. I put a lot of effort into thinking about it, and how much I really could not decide as to which one was better. But you know what? At the end of the day, it was not that difficult of a choice to make. Final Fantasy. You're going Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy? It really wasn't that difficult. Look, I, uh, the yeah, reason Steve, what Steve made the, it is so the difficult, guy of the group. What Dude. made it so difficult for me is because I love Zelda. Yeah. You know how I am about Zelda. And I wanted to pick Zelda. My heart was with Zelda, but I'm going with logic here. I'm going with, you know, Dude. so much more polished. I can pick up Final Fantasy 1 right now if I want to and play it. Mm-hmm. And I would enjoy it. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to enjoy the original Legend of Zelda, but I guarantee you I'll put money on it. I would enjoy Final Fantasy 1 but more than I would Zelda. Mm-hmm. Wow. And the reason for that is is because, you know, it's just it stands the test of time so much better. And that's why I wanted to emphasize on that. Yes, the future games ruined the original games for everyone in that but, sense. But, but also, they normally do. Let's also say that they've re-released the first one and, and corrected a lot of its issues. And right. it's more of a accessible game today if you, if, between these two games because you can find it like on on your on your iPhone. You can go to the iPhone store. <laughs> Uh, Apple Store, and you could probably download it to your phone, or you yeah, could exactly. play it. They really re-released it on the Game Boy Advance and all that. Uh, I honestly do not know what I want to vote for. Jacob, what are you picking? Uh, I mean, I'll go ahead and do it for you, so you can just pick whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and say, based off the evidence here, and based off of, all right, I have two cartridges in front of me. I've played Legend of Zelda uh, at my mom's maybe once or twice, and I've never touched Final Fantasy. Um, and it could just be just I'm just really have a new interest for turn based. I'm gonna say I probably would go back and play Legend of Zelda, or not Legend, excuse me, uh, Final Fantasy. So I'm gonna have to go with based off of all I've been I've been tallying scores of what you guys think is the top. And I have to say Final Fantasy in this one. I think I was gonna vote Final Fantasy it as well. It stinks because it's this, an, this is an upset. I, I, didn't, this think, is an I didn't think upset. I didn't think this is how this was gonna go. <laughs> I, know. I this thought is, this was Zelda all the way. This I just don't think this this the NES Zelda is the king here. I don't I don't I think Zelda grows into his popularity right. on the next. And generation. again, let me make it absolutely clear. I don't really want to talk about Link to the Past. Well, I, 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 I don't want to talk about clear, it. I know. Okay. I know it's going again. Absolutely clear. Absolutely clear right now. Okay. It's well, not a bad thing by any stretch of the means. It probably if it would have been seated differently. 
if it would have been seated differently, it could be, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Sure, yeah. sure. The sure. fact is, we put it against Final Fantasy because we wanted to do this critical we thinking. We have a big. Uh, we wanted to do this critical thinking. We wanted a big name b- title bout, and I mean, honestly, I mean, come on, like like Zelda versus Punch Out would be, I think, like Zelda versus anything else that's not Final Fantasy. I mean, yeah. think about it. Yeah. I think Zelda wins over almost everything else. And to be finish. honest with you, going into this, I think I thought I was going to pick Zelda. But when I thought about it, and I put a lot more thought, like a lot more detail into my thinking and going over every little thing about it, Final Fantasy checked those boxes can, every can time. I, can, can I go ahead and say that I like I drive a lot for work, and I think about these brackets. Mm-hmm. I think about what I'm going to pick. Like, I thought today. Like, I, hey, I think I know what I'm going to pick. And then... It changes. I, yeah, absolutely. I was remember we, we, when we made this bracket. We made our our sixteen games. I was like, y'all, y'all want to put final? All right, I'll put you know Final Fantasy funny? in here. I you don't know, know if funny? it deserves to be in here for this one. Yeah. My mind did not change at all. It wanted to change because I kept I kept going back to it. Like, let me think about it. Let me think about it. And, but every time I sit down and think about it, man, Final Fantasy was the one that my my brain was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Final Fantasy. Winner, Final oh. Fantasy. There you have it. Wow, I didn't see it playing out like this. Final Fantasy will move forward as the better fantasy game on the NES. Sorry, Zelda. Who do you think should have won? Are we wrong? Tell us all about it in the comments down below, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this show with everyone you know. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.